a high friend i am sure of in this video i will cover how to install and configure gitlab server on your ubuntu 18.04 and using google cloud platform okay so basically gitlab is a one of the devops tools okay so right now many company are use that gitlab okay for their own local project uh, backup so in, in your own repository local server okay so gitlab is open source application right so that is used to host git repository in local system or local server okay so with additional development and related uh, feature uh, have there uh, like issue tracking uh, monitoring okay uh, it is uh, designed to be uh, hosted using your own infrastructures and provide flexibility in deploying as an internal repository store for your development team and also a public way to interface uh, with a user okay so basically uh, your local project backup to your own local server your own repository so gitlab is free okay so here uh, gitlab server hardware uh, requirement so two core processor or 4 gb ram or 30 gb hard disk for enough to gitlab server install so here i am using ubuntu 16.04 okay let's start so first of all we need to create a server on google cloud okay so just here i'm type google cloud right so i'm just click here so now click on console Yes, you can see the Google Cloud Platform dashboard. Now click your menu. So and just down, click Computer Engine, VM Instance. So yes, yes. Now I'm just create Ubuntu Server VM. So wait for some time. So, yes, it come there. So now I'm just uh, name the server. I'm just name uh, technical skills Linux Git Lab. So now come down and just change the server configuration. I'm just select two core CPU or 8 GB RAM. Okay. So yes. And down and just change the operating system yes i'm select the operating system is ubuntu and that version is 18.04 uh, okay so now i'm just select um, the storage the storage is 40 gb for that enough you can change okay. so now i'm just select 40 gb and then go to firewall setting http and https now create it So creating so within few minutes uh, it will be installing uh, my server. So you can see here that is uh, technical skill Linux GitLab server is just installing. Yes, it, it is installing. So right now I'm just click here and open the browser. Okay. So you can see the SSH connected. Uh, to to the VM, so it's very option, very uh, good feature in Google Cloud. So that is uh, okay. So I should close it again. You just go to SSH and open browser Windows. Now you just connect it uh, to your VM SSH form. So.
just log in that right now i'm just logging into the root okay so now i'm check to server version so you can see that is ubuntu server 18.04 okay so now here i'm just uh, let's create a file GitLab dot yes, because I have a GitLab script, so that's why I am just created file GitLab dot dot CS. So now I'm just go there. You can see that is my uh, script. Okay, and this GitLab script I'm just copy here, and now I'm here. I'm edit the my GitLab dot script file and just enter and insert mode a4 insert mode and then paste shift control which yes now accept uh, w4 save q4 exit so now i'm just checking that's continuous here uh, yes continuous here right so now i'm just change the permission uh, read write execute uh, my GitLab server. So yes, so file is ready to run. My script is ready to run. Now I'm just run the GitLab script. Yes, my GitLab script running. So within few minutes, my GitLab server is ready. Okay, uh, so now I'm just wait. Yes, uh, that is postfix. So, GitLab is need for fig configuration. It says for default internet site. Now, I'm app and OK. Same as that is for your full qualification uh, for your domain. So, full qualify your domain. So, if you have a full qualified domain, so then you put here. Otherwise, you just have and OK. Same as default. So, so now uh, yes progress so it is some take some time okay and just full screen so type one um, same better So it's installing, okay. So 80%, okay. So not sure why it is for that. Uh, all repositories set, uh, check it, okay. So GitLab, the E, so. Just for setting, setting up, uh, it takes some time. So, but it is uh, um, installing in cloud, right? So, but if you if you want uh, uh, set up your local system, okay, local server, so that time is no time. So now is one page open. Here is one that is a external IP, right? So I am just changing the external IP. So I have that in my server IP. Okay, I am just uh, change it and put here the server IP. Okay. Remove. Yeah. Now I am go to my cloud and that is my server IP. Okay. Copy okay, here. Yeah. Now I am change for it in the external IP fist set control yes now it's set w4 set q4 exit so now just uh, this is very important uh, external url change because uh, when you are uh, run the your ser uh, gitlab server so that time is hit this U url okay so that's why it changes url okay mm -hmm. now now 
I will change save and exit. Left. So thank you for installing it lab it lab was okay so just reconfiguration now I can reconfiguration take action to and find the SSL this is a L key okay so uh, that that phone is some some time it take to some time because installing all repository okay so from GitLab application, so that is some time, uh, one or two minutes, okay. So just wait and just see what. Uh, GitLab CTL start for post secure. Okay, I'm waiting for that. Next page. If you have a, a development team, so right, so if you have one project, uh, to, uh, share the multiple development developer, right? So that time is um, in that time, you feel if you use the GitLab server, so it's very easy to maintain and very easy to your project, uh, project clone and project backup, okay? So and also project log, okay. So yes, installing. Okay, we are waiting now. So okay. GitLab find SSL key the uh, create a new directory okay so at the moment at the moment action done so some some time uh, one two minutes right so you got you know all usually check from GitLab uh, skip so in reconfiguration, right, your IP is updated, IP address also updated. So. Yes, it's done, right? So you can see that uh, your finish for that resource updated in 0 3 minute on 101 second okay so now we just GitLab server is ready and configure also done right now I'm just do just go here and just copy my IP and, and do just here paste so you can see that GitLab Community server is that uh, one to new password. So it's complete DevOps platform. Okay, so and you can see that GitLab is single application for the inter software development life cycles, right? So now we just new password. Enter your new password. I'm just type new password. Password must be uh, eight character. So nine change my password. Okay, and now I just want to log in. I mean, just log in root. Tiny. Okay. So you can see that you will create a project, create a group, create a, uh, everything here, right? So if you want to project and call the project, your project here. Right. Your name here, your root, ACT. Now I'm just go to admin area, right? You can see that your zero project uh, user one that is root and group two, right? And if you want to uh, user, you should just uh, go to the user, uh, uh, new user, just click a uh, new user, 
this time type uh, type the new user sort of uh, is it p right if you want to make user you can do it okay so now i'm just again and be near here so and just uh, i have to copy the server ip okay so i'm just here i'm paste here you can change your own icon and on uh, here it's uh, it's i am just change the good lab community edition i am just type here technical skill linux okay welcome technical skill linux good lab so now i am just to go my uh, admin file okay so and down down here uh, appearance here now here i am just to change change from there and this change new project i am um, searching yes Welcome. Okay, I am just type. Good luck. Welcome. Hmm. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. And this question I have changed that. Uh, my old decision so that um, download here so it's no issue for that if you want to um, change um, so, okay. just copy here okay so paste here So now just now to change if you want to change the logo and change the logo. So logo is not possible right now because I have no logo right now. So click here. Uh, okay, no issue. And this update. If you own logo, so that time you change your header logo, fix uh, Fabric one logo, and then also system header footer. You can do it your own customize, right? Project title, city. So now you can go there. Yeah. Right. I have already changed uh, everything here. Description. So now I'm just refresh. It will be changed. You can refresh. You can see that. I uh, welcome to technical skill Linux game. Uh, uh, good laugh okay so in this video everything is, is changes right okay so now if you want to host this in your server this is your uh, this is your uh, good laugh server just uh, copy the IP okay and now you just log in your GoDaddy or anywhere your uh, your domain provider so then just you change your DNS okay DNS just put the uh, IP address and change your DNS name then then your good labs, good labs are also hosting for your own domain, right? So, uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, if my video is any helpful to you, so then please like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you so much.